This is Feeba podcast. Thank you for joining us in our morning daily devotion. I am not considered is the fourth in our series of nots because of nots. Have you been left out or have you been sidelined? You thought you would be called for a particular position or for a particular task, but you were totally ignored. You also decided to quit and look for a new placement. You don't even know that others were preferred over you. You suddenly are beginning to see that you are not considered for anything and it is intentional. At home, you are the last one to be informed or even considered. You always felt that whatever was given to you was handed down to you by others and nothing new was bought just for you. You feel you are a nobody. In the Bible, we have examples of people who felt they were ignored, not considered, and not important. Joseph was one of them, thrown, forgotten, rejected, and was about to be killed. The Bible also talks about David. Samuel was visiting the house of Jesse and asking him to bring his sons. Jesse asked his sons to come. As Samuel looked at the older son Eliab, he thought, this man sure looks like a king. This must be the one God will tell me to anoint. That's a good choice. Samuel saw a tall, good-looking young man who looked like he would be a great king and leader. But the Lord rejected his choice. The other sons passed by and no one was chosen. Samuel said to Jesse, are all the young men here? Then he said, There remains yet the youngest, and there he is, keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and bring him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. It was Samuel who asked. It was not Jesse who offered to bring his youngest son. He was not even considered. There could be many reasons. One, he is too young to be a king. Two, he is a shepherd boy. And if he is chosen as a king, who will take care of the sheep? Three, he is not the king material. Four, there are others before him who were eligible. David was not even the second list. He was not present when Samuel visited Jesse. But the Lord knows whom he has marked. He does not operate on the principle of first come first choice. David was called from the field and was anointed. It does not matter where you are, how big the task is and how weak you are. The Lord strengthens whom he chooses. Just a shepherd boy with no experience of a king. In the 27th Psalm, Verse 10, David says, For my father and mother have left me, and the Lord has taken me up. How true! You would have had the same experience of not being considered. It is always the other sibling. Years have passed, you are married, you are a grandparent, but the thought of not having been considered in your growing up years is still bothering you. The world considers people with a different scale, but the Lord looks at you differently. He considers you as his child. He considers you as his possession. You are not a nobody chosen for nothing, but as somebody chosen to do his will. For the Lord, you matter. He does not consider you on the basis of your merits, your social status, nor your looks. He considers you because he loves you, cares for you, and has his best plan for you. The question is not whether the Lord considers you important or not, but do you consider him as your Lord and Savior? When you consider him as your Lord, then you will begin to experience all of him and all that he has for you. 
My friend, don't believe when people tell you even the Lord has forgotten you. It is not true. The Lord considers you to be his important vessel. He considers you significant. He considers you as a vessel in the hands of an awesome God whom he can choose. You are important to him. For more details, please contact 916364252164. Or email us to info at fibaonline.org.